Muslim. Like we're not allowed to say certain countries, uh, any specific country names, any individual names, any multinational companies names, and that is already a big barrier because how are we supposed to communicate who is causing the climate crisis? They've also closed down like two action zones, some of the biggest, the, some of the ones closest to the negotiation area where we can have the biggest number of people with the loudest um, noise volume. So now the ones where you can have a larger amount with the noise volume is a little bit further away from the negotiations and you know they say that it's because of construction or there's a electricity voltage thing but you know what is it really right like why is it just so happened to be the best spots to put actual pressure on the world leaders our sister Ali Rosenblum from talent of There's always been a lot of restriction on civic space inside of COPS, but we are really seeing a, a trend of it uh, increasing. Um, so obviously here we're in the UAE, there's no protest that's possible outside of the conference center. So this is really the only space we have to express ourselves. Feminism, whether it comes to any of these issues, without fighting for people first. People first and foremost. And we're still seeing more and more restrictions. Things like, you know, we've never been allowed to fly uh, country flags on actions. But the, the reason for that was that it was about respecting country flags. And when we're here wanting to push our solidarity for Palestine, when we want to fly the Palestinian flag here, it's in solidarity. It's upholding, honoring that flag. And we're still not being allowed. I think uh, it has been a bit easier for me to attend the COPS, maybe because of the visibility I have and the number of people that are, you know, that I'm able to reach when it comes to the audience. But that has not been the same for some of my colleagues that we work with. It's really mad at these people. Humanity is suffering. The people in the global south, you cannot care when even the president doesn't believe it. But we also can't fall into the narrative of global north countries who are coming here, walking the halls of the conference center saying, look how restricted civil society is here. But it's the case in the global north as well. We're seeing massive crackdown on civic space in the global north, in Europe, in the US. Uh, if, and even if we talk about the context of a COP, COP26 in Glasgow was the most inaccessible COP we've ever seen. The more we're being restricted and the more we're being shoved into a corner, the more the, the red carpet is being rolled out for big polluters here at COP. As much as it's challenging sometimes, I think we need to really be in this space to call, uh, to let the world know of what is really happening.